Hey everyone, Travis with these laptops here. Today we're going to be looking at a cat dozer using the Kajali Jaw Test software. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves connected here. We're going to look at the engine and the after treatment system, but most importantly we want to show you how the uh, joystick calibration here works for your blade control. Now with certain manufacturers here on the off-highway side you can do this machine system scan. Caterpillar is one of those. Um, so we're just going to choose our connector type and run the scan. All right, we'll click next. This part will take it a few minutes. We're going to kind of fast forward through that so you guys don't have to sit here and wait the couple minutes it'll take to find those systems. All right. So it's going to find engine you see here. It's going to give you any fault codes that are in there. Your after treatment as well. You see there, powertrain module. Then next up is going to be your hydraulic system followed by instrument cluster and it's also going to be picking up on two generic systems in here which is going to be your telematics um, so where we're going to start we're going to go to the engine controls so we'll double click it that'll get us connected And these are our live connection times here at this point. So you can see it takes a few seconds. Um, of course, you can read and clear your fault codes. We'll read them first. Once you're connected, you can see your fault code there. You click this I button. That'll give you a little bit of freeze frame data associated with the code um, when that code's set. If you click our back button up top, that's actually going to bring us right back to where we were. And you can clear the codes from this page or just click accept. Under your system data, you're going to get your ECU data, which will tell us what it is we're connected to. We can just accept through that. And back up. Monitoring is going to be any of your live data. So click all, click our magnifying glass. There's 12 pages of it here, so we're just going to scroll through really quickly here. But I do want you guys to take a look at how much data this does give you. And these are live, so when the machine's running, you'll see these things change. Alright, go back out. System check, so here's where we get into some tests. You see some of the cutout, your buzz test, your PRV, and your uh, regen test there. Parameters, you can get in here and code the injectors, or do the exchange command as well. Under your maintenance, most importantly, you're going to have the regen and the sulfation recovery process. If we look at our after treatment system, come in here, you can actually see the live data associated with it. Click our check mark, back out, and then they do some system displays here as well. So this is basically just going to give you a pictorial view and overview of that system um, and the live data there. If you go back out under our system checks, you see all three of the def tests there, the verification purge and the accuracy test. Disconnect and go in here. Let's go to the hydraulic system. That way we can go ahead and look at this joystick here for a blade. All right. Once you're connected, of course, you can read and clear faults. You go into the read faults. And there's no code stored in here, but you can clear from that side. Look at the ECU data, as well as monitoring, which is going to have any of your live data here. To click that, we can select all. Um, you can add triggers in there if you want to see something when it gets above a certain range. Uh, but you got 13 different pages. Again, I'm going to scroll through really quickly. Go back back and let's get into the important stuff so your calibrations implement control lever so what they're calling a thrust blade they actually mean by that is going to be your blade lever there so we'll go ahead and walk you through this calibration um, this first page just kind of lets you know what you need to do beforehand so we'll click accept through that And then the next page is going to let you know what you need to do. So here in this case, 
we're going to stop the engine. You'll see that check mark go green. We need to trip that implement lock switch there, and then we can click the accept button. Okay. Once we've done so, we're going to get instructions at the top. So it's going to tell us to move it to the front limit and hold it. So we'll actually show you that here. Hold it. You can see that change. While you've got it held, you're going to click this check mark. And from here, you're going to go to the rear limit, hold again, click that check mark while you've got it held. We'll go to the left, click that check mark while we're held again. And to the right. Hold, click accept. And lastly, it's going to be your neutral position, which in this case, just let the joystick uh, stay right there at its home position. There's no need to move anything. And then we'll click that accept button. It's so very simple here to do things such as joystick calibrations with this tool. Um, and overall, it's got pretty good coverage here. So you can see now it's finishing up the last step process, lets you know it's completed. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.